Now, seven weather with meteorologist Julie Durda. Good Friday morning, South Florida. The weather looks absolutely gorgeous from our HD roof cam here over North Bay Village. We're seeing nothing but sunshine out there. Boy, this is the place to be during this time of year. There are not too many places that can say they're waking up to clear skies and temperatures in the 70s with dry conditions. So enjoy and embrace it. We're driving from Lake Okeechobee all the way down to Key West. Now, earlier this morning, though, we did see some isolated showers off that southeast wind flow moving in from the Atlantic. Otherwise, what we're really noticing is the humidity and our rise in temperatures. Since sunrise at 7.04, we have been heating up at 77 degrees in Key West, 78 in Fort Lauderdale, 76 in Miami. Currently 78 in Pompano Beach, Oakland Park, 77 Pembroke Pines, 76 in Hialeah. Good morning to you in Kendall and Miccosukee, 74 degrees. The winds out of the east-southeast, anywhere between 7 and 8 miles per hour. Coast to coast we go. If you're headed out of state, we are seeing some areas that could have some travel plans being delayed. Reason being, we have a frontal boundary moving to the southeast United States. It's stretching all the way up towards the northeast. They're dealing with rain, sleet, and snow up by Boston. More snow coming in from Canada throughout portions of the Dakotas and in towards Minneapolis with the snow also falling throughout portions of New Mexico. They had their first round of snow at the beginning of the week, so they're just continuing to see snow. So if your travels take you over towards these areas, check your flight plans. There could be some delays. And make sure you grab your sweaters and jackets because it's downright freezing in these areas. We've got the 30s in Seattle, 20s in Billings, as well as Minneapolis and Chicago. The teens from Salt Lake City and towards Kansas. Now we're seeing more mild conditions in the southeast to the northeast with temperatures in the 30s, 40s, 50s, and we are sitting pretty with 70s. Christmas Day, you're definitely going to need those sweaters and jackets through the middle part of the west. Highs will be in the 30s, 40s, and 50s. Otherwise, we've got the 50s throughout the southeast, the 40s to the northeast, and we will be the warmest spot with a temperature of 81 degrees. We are expecting that frontal boundary to slowly push towards the south. We will stay above average with our temperatures. We will see an increase in humidity and a slight chance of showers today leading into tomorrow. Christmas weekend, that front will continue to push towards the south, basically stall out north of Lake Okeechobee, bring us more cloud cover with a slight chance of a shower going into Sunday and into early next week. Threat of Currents at the beaches, the bay will be at a moderate chop. No advisories for you in the Keys, near shore waters at a moderate chop. Highs today in the lower 80s, above average for this time of year. Lows staying warm in the lower 70s, much warmer than what we woke up to this morning. If your travels take you to the Keys, Key West, I broke down the forecast for you. Temperatures in the upper 70s, lower 80s throughout the weekend with a chance of an isolated shower. Headed towards Naples, it's going to be gorgeous. We'll see a mix of sun and clouds with highs in the lower 80s. How about for you going to Tampa? We've got highs in the lower 80s with a mix of sun and clouds as well. And if your travels take you to Orlando, we are seeing temperatures in the upper 70s and lower 80s. Back home here, just stay with us here in South Florida. In Miami, we will see temperatures in the lower 80s. It's going to be a beautiful weekend. I want to wish you all a very Merry Christmas, and I hope you all have a wonderful holiday weekend with your family and friends. Thank you for being a part of our Today in Florida family. Have a great day.